I just posted a video about Jared and Ayana update on their marriage, their life, and also Jared clapping back at trolls coming for his marriage and his wife. Click the very first link in the description below and watch that video. You will hear me later on say in this video that I'm transferring the content for Love is Blind on the second channel. So if you're not already subscribed, click that link watch the video and also subscribe to that channel thank you all for your love and support let's get into the short intro and into this video what's up my friend i love sisters finna d coming to you all from vina tina news i wanted to take this opportunity to really just say sorry to a woman that i know i hurt and i deep d i am truly sorry for some of the things that I said, things that honestly just could have been left unsaid or could have been said differently, uh, things that never should have been on national television. And during the time that we were filming, you were my best friend. And even though I knew our relationship wasn't going to end in marriage, I didn't want what we had to end either. I loved every second of it. And I'm so, so sorry that I, I hurt you with my words. That's the last thing I wanted from all this. I'm sorry, Deep T. Well, there you go. He apologized again to Deep T. In the pod, before there was backlash on social media, before anything, he apologized in the pod, okay? After talking to Deep T, having different conversations, he acknowledged that his delivery was wrong, the way how his touch process and all of those things were wrong and he apologized. The problem is after his apology, he continued to make certain comments. So I think the issue with Shake and my goodness, I just jumped right into it. For those of you who support me but have no clue what the heck am I talking about or love is blind or anything like that, I apologize. I just jumped right in, okay? There's a show on Netflix called Love is Blind. We're talking about their season two cast, basically the premise of the show. You know, you don't get to see the person because love is blind. You get to talk to them in some pods through a wall. You get to know them emotionally, you know, fall in love with whatever personality traits they have, you know, their emotions and all of that. And then you propose and then you get to physically see them. And then during that process of physically seeing them and getting to know them outside of the pods and behind the walls, you get to then make your final decision if you want to get married or not. Where there's a guy on there named Shake that just made some not so pleasant comments about women and click the link in the description below watch the very first video i did on shake and deep tea and you will hear all about it i really want to dive into what's going on now and i don't want to make the video extra long explaining all of that so click that link and you will hear the details and the breakdown of their relationship and all of that okay so after shake and deep tea got together he said that you know when he's with her he feels like he's with his auntie he's not attracted to her physically and all of that but he was saying these things behind her back there were times where he was very honest with her and told her how he felt but the way how he expressed his feelings to her compared to the things that he would say behind her back that was a little hurtful to deep tea no one is saying some of the things that he said there's no truth in it it's his delivery you can tell someone that you are not attracted to them you are not interested in them you are not compatible you don't think this is going to work it's all in the delivery now most of you are aware well for those of you who's been keeping up shake has a girlfriend okay this is her i mean she's exactly what he described in the pod he said that he only dates you know blonde white chicks she also said that she only date white men okay so this was their first time dating someone from you know where they're from and all of that so i wish both of them 
the best but dg brother he posted this image of her in her wedding you know gown and then he wrote oh we what a roller coaster of a season okay he wrote her name we are so incredibly proud of you we've witnessed you grow into such an incredible and beautiful woman you've inspired so many people to realize their self-worth and demand what they deserve and settle for nothing less we wish you didn't pick that clown but despite his is on the screen i'm going to skip around uh you know despite him being immature you carried yourself with grace and continue to see the good in people we are so bleep proud to call you our baby sister and you know we are there for you always thank you to everyone for their incredible support we really appreciate all of the kind messages and we don't take it for granted we've read way too many tweets and scrolled through way too many reddit threads <laughs> okay so basically thanking everybody for their support now normally i don't get involved in drama but i'm gonna defend my sister here shake bruh you are a loser you minimized my sister's life by making some awful and cringe wordy comments about her you made these statements knowing your own mom would one day watch it. My parents and my entire family had to sit through you talking behind my sister's back about insecurities she fought her entire life, okay? Despite your comments on and off camera about her body, she continued to only ever be supportive of you despite our best efforts to convince her to see through your BS. That's the person she is. In spite of your best efforts to pretend this was all fictional and it was because of the edit. No one forced you to say those words. We welcomed you into our home and you saw it as an opportunity for clout. So forgive me if I'm not sympathetic towards you and the hate you are receiving. Good luck with the rest of your life and stay the bleep away from my sister. Who? Who child? And he wrote, don't at me. Okay. All right. Hashtag love is blind. Over 2,000 comments. I'm not going to read any of them because you already know it's nothing but support for Deep T and her family. Hey, I'm here for the brother standing up for his sister. Do you think? Well, after all of this and Shik constant, you know, apology videos, now people are coming for his mother. And this is where, you know, I draw the line. I understand he said what he said. He did what he did. That doesn't mean that because you feel like your hate, it's not really bringing him down. He's still alive. He's still breathing. So now we're going to go ahead and bully his mom. When his mom called him out, his own mother said she doesn't deserve to be with a man. Basically, in summary, who's even like second guessing his decision to be with her. His own mom said that to him. So his mom was rocking with Deep T. So also, we have to realize that if you are calling him a bully, I understand people feel like he needs to feel, you know, the way how he made her feel. But if you're going down a path where you are wishing death on someone and you're going that far, then look in the mirror. Not only are you turning into him, you are becoming worse than him. You can't be saying, oh, you did this, you did that, and you are a terrible person. But then your comments and bullying are surpassing what he did. Okay, even during the reunion, I completely understood what the group was trying to do. I understood their passion, all of that. But there was a moment where it felt like a gang up. And I'm not even here for the guy. So there's a fine line between defending someone, giving someone the energy that they put out, and then becoming the very person you are claiming to hate or dislike. So some of you are turning into the very bully that you claim you despise. So let's go ahead and get into what was sent to his mother. And then we're going to go ahead and end it. He wrote, honest advice. Don't go on reality TV unless you are willing to become a punching bag for the cast. And even the host, once the show comes out, not playing victim here, just facts. His mom is responding to someone's comment, okay? 
basically defending him. There's a Reddit account, you know, claiming to be him. And the person wrote more disgusting things about her. And this mom is basically saying, come on now, okay? My son apologized in the pod. He's apologized outside a few times. Those accounts are fake. It's not my son. And of course, people are dragging his mom. So he wrote, guys, please stop engaging and harassing my mom in the comments. I can take the hate, but she can't. The bleep is wrong with y'all. I blurred this person's name out, even though Shik didn't, okay? The person wrote, you are a worthless, dumb B-word, and your family can all rot in hell, dumb B-word. His mother responded, thank you for your message. Be well. Imagine having to go that far, okay? And then Shik wrote, my mom just sent me this DM she got. Come for me all you want. But leave my mom out of this. Part of me wants to contact her employer. Well, when I did go to look for this person, their Instagram page is gone. Because even though people might not be here for shit, well, actually, he posted a lot of comments of people defending him and saying that, you know, people just don't like people who are straightforward so he have supporters and he's also running with the whole love is blurry he have a podcast and everything coming out you know he's in a new relationship kudos to him whatever but it's always interesting that the people who can do things like this they are not able to handle the same energy because when i went to this person page they completely deactivated the instagram account it's been a few days or probably a little over a week so maybe they came back but when this was posted I know 100% people started going to this person account because I went to their account and their account was completely gone. So I don't know if she changed, you know, her name, what she did, but the account was completely gone. And it's like, oh, okay, so you can come and disrespect someone's mother. And now that people are coming for you, you're scared, you remove their account. So that's what I'm saying. Come for him but going for his mom i understand oh we're not hurting you well let's hurt someone you know that you love and and see how you react because they want a reaction out of him yes he's been reacting yes he's been begging and pleading for the hate to stop and all of that he apologized he apologized there's nothing else he can do whether you believe his apology is sincere or not there's nothing else he can do all he can do is say i'm sorry and then do better so he apologized but then recently he said deep tea all of these interviews she's doing and dragging it she's playing the victim card and i'm like oh yeah we go <laughs> so that's the reason why people are not believing the apologies because he apologized and then he goes back and he attacks so at this point i'm done with it that's why i didn't do you know a detailed review on the reunion because there's so much going on on social media and it's just all over the place so i wish all of them well shake do better take care and then here my final loves thank you all for your love and support if you're not subscribed to the channel go ahead and subscribe to the channel go ahead and leave this video a thumbs up also turn on notifications so when i do post you where they're posted and i will see you all in the comment section remember to always have the god bless attitude which is being positive at all times and seeing the good in every situation have a great day guys god bless